family, I have a word that I want to bring back to your attention. On January 3rd of 2017, I was doing a study on how, how we are changed by the Holy Spirit of God. And as I was studying this, I saw a potter's wheel and a hunk of clay. On the wheel, the brick of clay was bland and not really useful for anything. But as the wheel turned and it started to take shape, each bump and rotation of the wheel started to change the lump of clay and went from a hard piece of clay, like my heart before I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, into a pliable substance formed by the Creator and the events that shaped this vessel. And as the time passed in the hands of the Creator, it began to change and take shape into something beautiful that could be filled with love, mercy, and grace that the Creator had put into it. And when he was finished, it was no longer a rock-like substance, but instead was a beautiful vessel that could be used to carry water, oil, or light as needed. I was then led to a word from our sister Julie Wedby, and I was blessed by it. I pray the blood of Jesus over this audio message and over any and all who are led to listen to it in Jesus Christ's most holy, holy, holy name. God bless you all. The battle is in the mind. This is where the enemy lurks. This is where the enemy has the most of his dominion in the minds of my followers. A very powerful word I have spoken about my spirit and the sort of truth dividing the soul from the spirit. This must be understood. In order to do what it is that I have set before you as my bride, You must understand what it means to disengage the mind. It is necessary to proceed. I have given you the power to do this, for you are made in my image, and I would never give you anything or tell you anything, speak words to you that are not truth. I would never give you anything that you cannot handle. I know each of you intimately. You are each on a path that is so detailed, specific, and lovingly and intricately designed. Never doubt this. There are things that must occur that are necessary for your growth, that are necessary for the preparations ahead. They are equipping you for what you will walk in very, very soon. I have called my people out to walk in total power, strength, and authority. My army must be mighty. My army must speak to my truth and not hesitate to do so. My army must have a boldness and a courage that no one else displays. For this is who I am as my army is in me and I in them. We are one in spirit. You know who you are and so does the enemy. But this should not deter you in any way from what I have called you to do. This should only serve to strengthen you, empower you, and motivate you to continue to walk forward in all that has been ordained. Such power has been given to you from on high. You will soon know exactly what it is that you walk in and who are you representing. But for now, it is still veiled somewhat. But this is not to be your truth for much longer. I am revealing more every day to my saints. Do not allow these attacks to deter you. Do not disengage from me. Do not doubt. Do not, defe- do not fear, for this is not a spirit I have placed within you. This is the spirit the enemy would wish you to take upon yourselves, your lives and the lives of your family. Do not accept this, for this this is not my will for you. My word is the truth, and my word is life. This is what I speak. This is what you consume. When you eat and drink of me, when you come to my table and you share this with me, this is what I give you. Embrace this. This is your truth. This is a time like no other. I have set before you a table in the presence of your enemies. You will celebrate the marriage supper of the Lamb with me, your King, and sit on my right hand. Of this I promise you. You have my word, and my word is truth. Walk in this in every moment. Do not doubt, children. Do not doubt. I am faithful. I am truth. I am the word. I am the bread of life given unto you, for you are my chosen. You are the ambassadors, the salt and light in this place. Be ever vigilant. Be this, for this is your purpose. This is what I have called you to do. Move mightily. Speak powerfully. Educate all those around you. Wield your tongues wisely. Speak of me, for I am in you, 
and you are in me, and I am in my Father, so therefore you are in our Father. We are one in spirit and one in truth, one in heart. We cannot be separated. Know this truth. Know this for your lives. We cannot be separated. For that which I have joined cannot be separated by the words of man, nor by the words of our enemy. He hates you because he hated me first. He persecutes you because he persecuted me first. There is nothing that you will endure that I have not already won. And yes, the battle is not yours. This does not mean that you do not prepare, but it is my burden to carry. You are nothing against him. It is I in you that is the victory won. It is my desire that more people would speak my words of truth and will want to serve me in the ways that you offer to serve me. So if you answer the calling upon their lives to serve me in this capacity, it must be done. I must have my voice in this place. It has been given unto you to understand the mysteries of the knowledge of heaven and my kingdom. In and of this you must speak. Do not back down. You will not falter when you walk my narrow path. There is so much in place on either side of you, hedging you in, above and below, and on all sides, that would serve to protect you and keep you on this narrow path, because I know the heart and every soul that I have created, and I know your desire to serve me. I will not let you fail. Do not let the accuser convince you that you can fail, for I have told you, you will not. This is not your truth. This is not of me. Many, many come in my name and say, He is my Lord, I speak for him, I know him. Listen to what I say. He is here, he is there. Follow this word, and I, and I have told you in my word. Many will come in these end times and say they are of me, and they will speak words to my children to lead them astray. But you, my sheep, know my voice. You know I will never lead you astray. My sheep know my voice. There are false Christs. There are antichrists. Unless you know me intimately, you will be influenced by the enemy. For I have shown you the great darkness that has come upon this earth. It is great indeed and mighty and powerful, but it is short-lived. I will not allow this darkness for much longer, children. Did I not also tell you in my word that I must sift my church first, that the enemies would be those of your own household? Pray for your households, for they, not, for they know not what they do. They know not the words that they speak, and they will come to humility and forgiveness because of that which they speak. The truth will soon be revealed, but I must sift, I must shake. I speak this again and again, over and over, to my prophets and my saints, that I have to shake and that I have to sift. I must, must separate those who are intimate with me from those who are not, for this will determine that which they will walk in for the coming tribulation. It will determine their futures. It will determine the capacity in which I use them. They can come to this knowledge now, or they can come tomorrow, or they can come later. It does not matter. What matters is that I do have them. But your paths are individual. They are unique. They are tailored intricately to suit that which I have created. My design, and my design is perfect. I have never told you that you would understand while on this side of the veil. But I have promised you that you will soon understand me, and all will be revealed when the veil is lifted. You know me, you know my voice, you know my words, you know I am faithful, you know my love for you. Trust and obey. What, what more must I give you? It has been imparted, imparted unto you wisdom of the ages. Knowledge and understanding are increasing, ever increasing. Each and every time you consume me, every time you come to me in humility, in prayer, in repentance, in surrender, I reveal more to your spirits. You have been blessed beyond what many will ever know on this side. In that, it has been part, in that it has been imparted unto you understanding. You have been given discernment, knowledge, revelation. That is not unusual for most. Therefore, the enemy would be envious and jealous and prideful. It is his nature. Antichrist means everything that is opposite of me. He is the direct opposite of me. He is anti-Messiah. Where I would shed light and truth, he will shed nothing but deception in the dark. Where I am faithful, he will always disappoint. Where I have the victory, he will always know defeat. Where I would encourage and edify and love, he would tear down, accuse, and destroy. I bring life, he only knows death. I am your shepherd, and you shall not want. I make you to lie down in green valleys. I have set that table before you in the presence of your enemies. 
I anoint your head with oil. My rod and my staff, they comfort you. Though you walk through utter darkness and death all around you, you shall fear nothing, for I am always your shield. Your cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy will follow you in all the days of your life, and it will be well with your souls. He that walks in the shadow of the Almighty shall dwell under the shelter of his wings. He will find rest for his soul. You need not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrows that fly by day. For it is my glory that surrounds you, in you, through you, beneath you, all around you, in front and behind. Your heads, in, children, thousands and thousands surround you. They seek to destroy you because you know who you are in me. You must embrace the truth. You cannot be harmed. I will not allow it. It is my blood covering that seals you and protects you. My death was not in vain. I have warned and I have warned of the deception that was coming. So few have heeded, so few have heeded these warnings. So few understand the depths that the enemy, your adversary, would go to stop you. But I tell you, he will stop at nothing until his day is done. Until I cast him into the lake of fire, he will stop at nothing to stop my children. For he knows, he knows what was done that day. He knows the victory that was achieved at the cross when my blood was shed for all men and for all sin, for all death, for all time. And there is nothing he can do to change this. Wash yourselves with the water of my word. Continue to take of me daily. Come to me often. You must. Do not fear all that is crumbling around you. You will see much. I am shaking all things. Foundations are crumbling. All that is not of me is being torn apart and must be so. Walk in holiness, purity, and righteousness. For this is that in which you are clothed. It is my robe of righteousness that you wear. It is my garments. There was a price paid for this, which I give you. The ultimate price. For my love knows no bounds. And I would do this again and again and again. So that not one would be lost, if that is what our Father required of me. This is surrender. This is obedience. This is true love. This is mercy, this is grace, this is forgiveness. Come as you are and humble yourselves before me, so that I may show you something greater, something more pure and more holy than anything you have ever known. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Tell them, I have not come to be served, but to serve, for this is the command of my Father. There is no greater love that has ever been known, no greater love. I gave my life as a ransom for so many. For every soul that was ever created, I gave my life for a simple purpose that they would just know me. The only reason? So they would know me. A life freely given, no conditions. It is time. It is time to take authority. You have been prepared. I have given you all that you need. And it is time. Just as I spoke before the words, I will give you, and they will not be of you. They will be my words. But they must be proclaimed for all to hear. Truth must be revealed. What has been whispered in the darkness will be shouted from the rooftops, will be proclaimed in the light. What I have whispered to you in your secret chambers shall be known to the world. There is nothing that has been kept in the dark that I will not shine my light upon. All will be revealed. All will be exposed. The enemy is crushed. Truly you will see a day, and that day is coming so very soon, when my victory will be revealed. My glory will shine in the darkest of places and in the coldest of hearts all around this world. I have spoken it and shall be according to my word. My people will rise great and mighty in exploit, in word and in deed. They will stand. They will speak boldly and courageously. They will move on my behalf, for it is my arm that is outstretched, my anointing that they walk within. This world will see a day of glory and splendor as the hearts of men will turn towards their Savior. For I will reveal who I am to each and every individual on this planet, and all will be without excuse. For each soul knows there is something mightier and greater than they. Every soul knows that there is an artisan that has lovingly created and designed them and purposed them for something bigger and better and higher than what this world has offered them. And I will make this very clear. None will be without a choice, and then the decision will lie with each one as to what they choose, what their destiny will be, what their eternity will bring them. It is not I who will turn them away. It is a heart that is in total rejection of me, that will choose that for themselves, for darkness cannot be where my light is. It is not possible. I allow these things to occur in your lives, for I must know where you stand, each one of you. I must know your true heart, your true motive and intentions, the desires of your heart. Yes, I know you each intricately. I know, I know you before, 
I know before you know, but because I have given you the will to choose, I must press and sift. There cannot be even the smallest amount of influence from anything that is not of me. The work that I am calling you to do requires that nothing comes in if it is not of me. You must differentiate what is me and what is not. This is your responsibility when you are in me. But I assure you, you cannot be deceived when you walk within me intimately. I will always lead you and guide you and reveal truth to you. As I spoke previously, you know I am in your midst when you have perfect peace amidst the storm. For my peace is there, the peace that surpasses all understanding. This world will give you tribulation, but I have overcome the world as have you. You are my overcomers. Allow me to continue to use you as my instruments, the vessels through which I will pour my spirit onto others. My love and my grace, my mercy, my compassion, my forgiveness, it is my spirit that lives within. I am lifting you higher and higher into me. It is given unto you to rule and reign with me. Be glad and rejoice in this. Rejoice in the suffering and in your tribulation. This only means that you are ever closer. I hear every word that you speak to me, every prayer, every utterance, every thought I see. Not one goes unanswered. I am here. I am here to speak truth to your heart and to your spirit. Our hearts are wo are woven, and when it will serve me best and glorify me the most, I will speak. Trust in this. It is in the times that you feel most dry that I am doing the greatest work. For it is my strength in which you must draw, not your own. Draw from the well, for there is nothing in you that will serve to carry you through these times. None of you have anything in your own capabilities that would serve to carry you through anything that is presented to you. It is only my grace that allows you to walk through any situation or circumstance or challenge or trial. Only my grace. It is enough in every situation. It is enough. You can always count on me to be there to guide you and instruct you, to carry you, especially when you feel weak, for in your weakness I am made strong. You are truly being transformed into my likeness, and it is this the enemy so fears. They cry, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain. Worthy is the Lamb, for death has no sting in my victory. I have conquered death and the grave for all time. Celebrate this victory with me, for it belongs to us, my victors, my friends, my brothers, my sisters, my family, for truly I call you my friends. Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the age, and my return is coming soon. Be ready, be vigilant, be ever watchful, for many it will be, the thief in the night, but not so for you, my chosen, and called out ones, for you will know the hour is at hand, for I will continue to speak to those who walk intimately with me of my coming. It is not you who will be caught off guard and unawares. You know that this is the time and the season, for you have seen the signs, and you have heeded the warnings, heard the call. You have heard my voice. You know that which I speak is truth, and it resonates within you. Our spirits are one. There is nothing that you must fear. I am the lamp unto your feet and the light unto your path. I am coming, I am coming, I am coming. Guard your hearts and minds. There is much that I wish for you to share, but you will know the timing of these words, for all must be done according to my will and my perfect timing. Be at peace, for it is well within your souls. I love you beyond measure. This you know. Yahushua. King of kings and lords of lords. I will post the scriptures below. My family, everything he, he gave in that long message is all the messages that have been received throughout the last past year and a half, or two years. Everything that was in that message was just clear and concise of how we have to surrender and have a personal relationship with him. And as we get rid of the things of this world in our heart and we surrender things to him, that opens us up so that he can fill us with his mercy, love, and grace. He can fill us with his light so that his light will shine through to us. Glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. Glory to God, King of kings and Lord of lords, our risen King. Glory to God. I pray the blood of Jesus over this audio message and over any and all who are led to listen to it. I rejoice in this day that the Lord has created. I rejoice in my family of like-minded individuals that he has brought me into contact with. I rejoice with you all, brothers and sisters. 
I rejoice that the day of the Lord will soon be coming. I rejoice on his return. I rejoice that he so loves us that he gave his only begotten son so that we might find a way home to our first love. I rejoice with all of you to know that he has a plan for each and every one of us. That it is his perfect plan and his perfect timing. For he knows better for us than we know for ourselves. Glory to God in the highest. Amen and amen.